Hello ladies and gentlemen. Well, this is the last video of the day, and uh, I will have to say, well, it might be the last video of the day. Um, it just seems that what else comes out, but so far, it might, this might be the last video of the day. It seems that uh, AOC's in a little bit of trouble. She's getting sued by our grave, by our favorite man, Alex Stein. And uh, it's actually quite hilarious, and let's take a look at the actual uh, article here. Now it says, troll who heckled AOC on capital on capital steps and called her his favorite big booty Latina sues the lawmaker for blocking him on Twitter. Political uh, provocator provocateur uh, and satirist Alan Sun is suing Representative Alexander Cortez for blocking him on Twitter after he heckled her in front of the U.S. Capitol, calling the New York progressive his favorite big booty Latina as she walked into the complex, Stang also shouted about AOC's support for abortion, which he called killing babies. She wants to kill babies, but she's still beautiful, he said, as he recorded. You look very beautiful in that dress. You may look very sexy. I'd look at that big booty on AOC. Now, here's the thing. Um, you, some people may be up at arms for this, but of course, you're going to have what they did, something very similar to this, the left did, very something very similar to this, um, to Donald Trump here, where uh, Trump uh, can't block critics from his Twitter account at uh, Port, Kill, uh, uh, Port Peel's rules. So, um, that being said, it says here that uh, uh, tr President Trump has been violating the Constitution by blocking people from following his Twitter account because they criticized or mocked him. A federal appeals court ruled on Tuesday. But Rudin could could have broader implications for how the First Amendment applies to the social media era. Because Mr. Trump uses Twitter to conduct government businesses or business, uh, he cannot exclude some Americans from the reading his post. And engaging in a conversation and the replies to them, because he does not like their views, a three-judge panel on the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit in New York ruled unanimously the ruling was one of the highest prof profile court decisions yet in a growing constellation of cases addressing what the first amendment means in, in a time when political expression increasingly takes place online. It is also a time Judge Barrington D. Parker wrote, when government conduct is subject to a wide open robust debate that generates a level of compassion and intensity he the likes of which have rarely been seen. The First Amendment prohibits an official to, who uses social media account for government purposes from excluding people from an ex otherwise open online dialogue because they say things that the official, official finds to objectionable, Judge Parker wrote. This debate is as uncomfortable and as unpleasant as it, as it frequently may be, is nonetheless a good thing, the judge wrote. In resolving this appeal, we remind the litigants and the public that if the First Amendment was, means anything, it means that the best speech, the best response to disfavor speech on matters of public concern is more speech, not less. So yeah, that's pretty much what they did. They did it for Trump's Twitter. Um, uh, so yeah, they did it for Trump's Twitter. They, the same thing, pretty much same case. A pretty much identical. The only difference is it's just with AOC and not Trump. And uh, it goes on to say with here as well that the viral interaction interaction with AOC went viral and has since helped Stein bolster his career as an online political satirist. Um, okay, yeah. So he did this thing. Obviously, I think a lot of people already know about it and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, she seems to us uh, to um, to. Uh, well, blocked him on Twitter, and he's suing her for it. So, consequently, uh, AOC blocked Stang on Twitter, a decision that has now gotten her sued. Stang's suit on Wednesday cited a federal appeals court decision that ruled against then President Donald Trump. The court ruled that the former POTUS had violated the constitutional rights of several individuals by blocking them on Twitter. The appeals court said Trump had acted in his official capacity as president when he made those decisions. Days following that ruling, which came in November of 2019, AOC apologized and settled a case with former Brooklyn Assemblyman Dove Heckland, whom she had also blocked on account of critical response to her, to her tweets. She ultimately lifted to the block of Hi on Heiken and admitted that she that he has a has a First Amendment right to express his views and should be blocked should not be blocked for them. Stan is hoping for a similar case outcome with this suit. He said he doesn't have any hard feelings for AOC, adding that he is not looking for a monetary settlement out of the gates, which was filed in a new judicial court in Washington, D.C. I would really like to have her unblock me, he said, saying that that would allow him to communicate with her. Yeah, and um, again, these are these are things that uh, that AOC has um, has done um, to Donald Trump and stuff like that. So it's just just uh, uh, 
It's just the uh, part of the course. If AOC decides to battle the case in court, she would be reopening the same set of issues and arguments that were previously litigated in terms of whether political figures have the right to prevent, prevent certain people or groups from following them online. In 2021, the Supreme Court raised the second U.S. Court of Appeals, ruling that Trump has violated the First Amendment rights of the individuals he had blocked. The High Court ordered the case he just he be dismissed as moot because Trump was by then no longer serving as president. The Supreme Court's order meant to that the Second uh, Second Circuit's ruling could no longer be used as a president uh, precedent for similar cases in which elected officials have blocked Twitter followers. Stein, Stein's case will also likely be handled differently because it stems from statements he made to AOC in person, not online. Back in July, AOC tweeted out the video of Stein confronting her on the Capitol steps and he called it a deeply disgusting incident. She added that Stein was clearly in the want of his dream is fame. Yeah, but um, we know that you were walking up to him and being happy, so we'll, we'll go exactly over it, too, as well, well to kind of see exactly what we're talking about. Because we all know... was what's going on so yeah we're, we're pretty much gonna be at the same boat here with this so there she is um pretty much uh walking up still beautiful you look, you look very, very beautiful, beautiful in that dress you look very sexy look at that booty on aoc that's my favorite big booty latina i love it my favorite aoc nice to meet you aoc look how sexy she looks in that dress yeah going up doing a peace sign and all that stuff and well, it didn't seem like she was uh, disgusted or at all. She seemed that they really like it or enjoy the, f well, obviously the uh, the uh, uh, what's what's the word um, uh, uh, attention that she was getting. There we go. I was actually walking over to deck him, deck him because if no one would protect us, then I'll do it myself. She took care, but I needed to catch a vote more than the case today. Uh, yeah, because you because what was shown in that video just now really showed that you were going to deck him. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. The suit said that Stein blocked AOC in retaliation to Mr. Stein's exercise of his First Amendment rights because earlier that day, Mr. Stein, in the context of political commentary and state, commented to Mr. Ms. Cortez. Mr. Mr. Stein has the right to access Mr. Cortez's Twitter account as part of vigorous public comment and criticism. Reads the suit. Mr. Cortez presses a blocking Twitter uses. She disagrees with his unconstitutional uh, with his, with with his unconstitutional, and this suit need, seeks to redress that wrong. State's attorney Jonathan Gross in an interview said the provocateur's references to a AOC's body were satire, and the reference to her support for abortion is obviously political. My client is a political satirist, he said. Political speech, the Supreme Court has said, is the highest level of protected speech. Regardless of what Stein said, Gross, ar Gross argued AOC does not possess the legal right to block him on Twitter, saying also defended his comments, saying he didn't he didn't really want to disrespect her. It was the most gracious way I could say it, he added, claiming he was really complimenting her. It goes on to say that Stang also said he was inspired to use Sue AOC after news of the of the House of Ethics Committee investigation into her office that has now extended into her appearance at the 2020 Met Gala. She has been accused of accepting off-limits gifts in the form of her designer tax the rich gown, as well as her handbag, shoes, and jewelry for the event. Other items such as transportation, hotel fees, hair, and makeup, as well as other as an outfit of, for her boyfriend, also factor into the investigation. I think ethically, AOC is kind of playing fat and loose, said Stang, admitting to that he wants to get her attention. Yeah, and uh, things are not going too great for AOC over here, all right? Uh, things for AOC are seeming to really going down. Being having an, inves an investigation starting from the F FEC and now being sued by uh, Alex Stein for obviously doing the same thing that Trump did uh, that now is happening to you. So I, I think that it's, uh, or that you're doing to Alex Stein. So, yeah. You're taking a lot of L's right now, AOC. More, more to it for you. Hopefully, Alex Stein wins. Um, we really gotta push back these uh, lunatics. And of course, uh, the people are gonna be against this. The people that are on our side are saying whatever. Like, well, no, no, no. The, she, uh, Trump's did the same thing, and he got sued. And well, now he has to force. Yeah, he was forced to retract it. So, uh, the ball's in your court, guys. Let's see. We all know you guys are hypocrites, but. Uh, <laughs> It's hilarious when it's when it goes on when it comes the other way around. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care.